Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this animation. Well, it's been in a while since we created some text animation inspired by Pixrate. So, with a huge shout out to Pixrate, let's continue. Alright now, in order to create this effect, we're going to start with a new composition. I'm going to call it text design. I'm going to set the width on 9020, however, I'm going to change the height to 960. The frame rate is fine, same as the duration, so this is okay. Now, on the next step, I'm going to create my text, which I want to write the word demon. Let's align it to the middle. Alright, and let's turn it into shape. Okay, so now the next thing that I want to do is that I want to sort of create an unfold, an unfold animation where I basically fold this letter and uh, to another one. So to do that, let's just set the anchor point on bottom. And let's press S to rebuild the scale. And then I'm gonna set a keyframe. And on one second, I'm gonna set it on zero. Something like this, right? And then what I'm going to do is that uh, I want the reverse thing. So I just want to, this one stretches from zero. So I'm just gonna reverse these keyframes by right clicking on them. And in keyframe assistance, I'm gonna select time reverse keyframe. Now, I want to add the second mm, second letter, so I'm just going to duplicate it. And this time, what I'm going to do is that first, I'm going to change this color. Let's set its color on black and let's change the color label to orange. I'm going to set its anchor point this time up and then I'm going to reverse the keyframes. So we will have something like this. That is correct. And now let's repeat the same step again. I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm gonna push the keyframes to here and let's just cut these two animations exactly on here and now what I'm going to do this time I'm gonna set this anchor point up because the text was here and then what I need to do is that I just need to reverse those keyframes again so as you see now we have something like this. Now on the next step, we're just gonna set the demon outline 4 in here. We're gonna set its anchor point on down, and then we're gonna reverse its keyframes. So as you see, we have a perfect loop. Let's trim our time indicator exactly on 2 seconds. Great. Now let's go towards the displacement design. I'm just going to create a new composition. I'm going to call it displacement design. And I'm going to bring the text design in here. Now let's create a new solid layer. And I'm going to call it displacement. And let's add the gradient map effect. And this displacement is very simple. So I'm just going to set the black color in here and the white one in here and then I'm just gonna add the time displacement effect let's change the displacement layer to displacement and change the source to effects and masks and let's set the max displacement time to 0.5 the time resolution to 500 so we avoid the pixelation Okay, now as you see we have this displacement but unfortunately since we set our uh, composition on 2 seconds we won't have any render preview in here so let's fix that by adding a time remapping expression so let's add the loop out expression so I'm just gonna hold alt I'm gonna add a loop out expression now as you see the expression works fine so we have something like this, which is exactly correct. So if we set it, for example, on two seconds and then we go on four seconds, as you see in here, we have a perfect loop. So that is correct. Let's make sure that we set it on four seconds. Okay, now this is good. Now, before we proceed further, if you have enjoyed this video so far, it would be really nice if you could leave out a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you. Now let's continue. So on the next step, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new composition and I'm going to call it stack. And so basically I want to repeat this composition three times. So
So in order to do that, we need to increase the width and height. So I'm just gonna set the height on 8020. The width I'm gonna set on 5760. So that is good. Now let's add the displacement up in here. And I'm gonna set its second one in here. And let's set the third one in here. And let's shift them a bit to the right. Okay, that is good. Now let's also set the comp to two seconds. Like this. And I'm gonna enable the time remapping. So it was zero for two seconds. So let's keyframe on here. Let's add a loop out expression and I'm gonna set it on here but I'm just gonna offset it a bit so let's just go okay now that we have created an offset between these three compositions it's time to create our main composition. I'm going to set this width on 9020, the height on 9020. Now let's hit OK. All right, now let's create a background. I'm going to call it BG and let's add the uh, stack comp and I'm going to call it animated text. Now the next effect that I'm going to add is the uh, polar coordinates. And this effect basically is a UV version of the CC sphere. It helps you to create sphere. So if I change the time type of conversion to react to polar, and now if I increase the uh, interpolation to 100, as you see, we will have sort of a sphere like this. Now let's enable the time remapping for the text, our text in here. All right, let's set it on zero to two seconds, which is in here. Let's increase it and let's add a loop out expression. And let's set a keyframe on here and replace it for this one to make a perfect loop. Now, what I'm going to do is that, just set it in here. I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and let's call it color. So we basically gonna colorize it. So let's just add the triton effect and I'm gonna change the highlight for the main color and I'm gonna change the mid tones, for example, to black and the shadows to a brighter color like this. However, now since it's now we need to fix the background. So let's add a fill effect and I'm going to push it towards this channel for a black color. Okay, that is good. Now let's add the texture. So I'm just going to go towards the asset panel. I'm going to add the first texture, which is this, this one. And let's just change its mode on multiply. So we will have some texture in here. And we can add the sound and hand rhythm effect by changing the size to 40, for example, and the amount to 10. And we can add an animation for one entire rotation, let's say. I'm gonna set it one entire rotation like this. So now we have some animation, which is quite nice. And now what I can do is that I can duplicate this texture Let's set its mode on the screen and we can remove the white pixels by adding an invert effect. So this will be our final result. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much. Goodbye.